I'm Shanae, and this is my crazy family. After the heartbreaking news we received last week affecting our birth plan, we were concerned about what our options would be for Bowie if nature decided to take its course early. Thankfully, we decided to make some last minute calls to give us some peace of mind as we wrap up work and any last minute prep for baby to do's before little dude arrives. If you aren't already a part of the fam, make sure you click that subscribe button now. We'd love to have you. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is a very, very exciting episode. I am currently sitting in the rocking chair in the nursery because it arrived. It arrived. So the nursery, well at least this corner of the nursery is complete. Let me show you how it looks. <sighs> da, da, da. Da, 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 da. We are hopeful that before this little boy arrives, the other giant piece of furniture that's missing from his nursery will be here. So fingers crossed on that front. Wanna give you guys a quick update on the travel situation because we got so much love and support just poured on our family last week. So a lot of people ask like, why can't Shanae's mom come? Like it sucks that Josh's mom can't come. Why can't Shanae's mom come? So my mom was scheduled to come the day before my surgery date, but I don't know. I have a feeling that this little boy might wanna come and enter the world before then, so we were really panicked, which is why we were trying to get Josh's mom out so early so that we could make sure somebody was here to watch Bo. As you guys know, if you've been following this channel for a while, we moved across the country just a month basically, maybe almost two months before I found out I was pregnant. So it's been less than a year. We have some wonderful friends out here that we've made, but nobody that Bo knows that well, and we would feel much more comfortable just having a family member with her for the few days that we're in hospital because we've never ever left her on her own with anyone else. Daddy, I just got home from his run. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, stinky. Hello. Hello. Stinky? Stinky, stinky. No. Yeah. Oh, am I stinky? Yeah. What? <laughs> so anyway, we really wanted family here. My mom was gonna come on the 12th. When Bobby, Josh's mom, got turned away at the airport because the transatlantic corridor was open only one way and not the other, which makes no sense to me. Um, my mom bumped up her flight to Sunday. So she's gonna get in a few days earlier than expected. So if he comes a couple days early, we should still be covered. I'm still very nervous because that still leaves us with about a week before we have somebody here to look after Bo. Oh, look at all the little babies. They're creepy babies. Creepy babies is what we call these ones, according to Bo. We didn't make that up. In the meantime, we're using this last week to kind of wrap up all of the baby to-dos that we have to do and wrap up all the work obligations that I still have outstanding. I've really tried to bank as much stuff as possible so that I can actually have somewhat of a maternity leave. And so, yeah, just tying up all the loose ends so that we're good to go as soon as possible in case he does come early. So, wish us luck. So, I have a question. We obviously have quite a lot of pictures on the walls with just our one child in it. This one's shot by Matt Barnes, I love that photo. Um, what do you do when you have another baby? We have a lot of photos of Bo, obviously Frankie too. Um, obviously individual photos of our son will go on the wall, but what about like ones like this? I'm gonna give you two options. Do we one, take it down and just shoot a new family portrait? Obviously, we're going to do a family portrait as well at some point, but do we just take this one down? Because I would find it a little weird if I walked around my mum's house and there were family portraits without me in it, even if I was a baby. Um, or do I Photoshop a baby in there? You decide. Leave that shit in the comments. Okay, a little bit of TMI for you. I just went to the bathroom and I think I lost my mucus plug. If you don't know what that is, don't Google a photo, but it's like one of the early signs that labor's coming. That said, I lost mine last time, was still not going into labor naturally for like a week after, which is why I ended up getting induced. So 
I don't know. Bye-bye. I just went to the bathroom. And I lost my mucus blood. No, you didn't. Yeah. Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> Feels were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl. Another big day. Trying to tidy up the house and stuff. As you can see, this is a balloon that we got weeks ago that Bowie won't let us get rid of. So we're just trying to make as much space, declutter as much as possible, get everything ready for his arrival because it really could happen at any day now. And I also need to add a couple bits to my hospital bag because I definitely blanked on a couple key items. One being my postnatal vitamins. This video is sponsored by Ritual, so I want to say thank you to them. I've been taking Ritual vitamins since before I was pregnant. I'm currently on their prenatals. I'm packing my postnatals in my hospital bag because I'm going to be starting those really soon. <laughs> it's all happening. It's all really happening. One of the really cool things about Ritual to me is that it was actually started by a woman when she was pregnant. She realized she was taking stuff that had a ton of ingredients that she didn't understand the names of. She couldn't source where the ingredients were coming from, et cetera, et cetera. So she decided to start her own line of vitamins that really focuses on full transparency as far as their supply chain is concerned. Their clean, vegan friendly formulas are made with key nutrients that your body can actually absorb and use. There are no shady extras and that is why they put so much emphasis on the traceability. They also have a really fresh taste to them, which is such a random thing to shout out about a vitamin, but it's really nice, especially if you're taking them in the mornings like I do. You can take them on an empty stomach, so you don't need to eat anything before you take them. They're not gonna make you feel queasy because of their slow release. Like I said, they are vegan, but they're also non-GMO and gluten and major allergen free. So they will suit most people's lifestyles. All of their packaging materials are made from upcycled materials. Everything is 100% recyclable and they also focus on carbon neutral shipping. I'm gonna join my coffee before another hectic day ensues. Hopefully I can keep up with everything that we have going on right now because I am hella pregnant and just so, so tired at this point. So I'm definitely ready to call it a day, take my mat leave and just relax a little bit before this baby gets here and keeps me awake all night. But if you guys want to try out Ritual yourself, head to ritual.com slash Shanae and use my code Shanae for 10% off your first three months. Which by the way, gets delivered straight to your door. It's a subscription, so it makes it really easy. Put them beside your coffee machine like I do so you remember to take every day and then your new order will show up at your doorstep every month okay now i need to track down those post needles and put them in my hospital bag before i forget again it is my final work week before i take like a month off at least for maternity leave so many loose ends to tie up last little batches of podcast stuff, YouTube stuff, blog stuff, all the things before I am clocking off and just trying to enjoy the last few days of rest and relaxation with the family before sleepless nights are ahead. So I'm currently in my office. This is my little equipment closet. Grabbing out some light stands because Josh has to shoot me for a blog post. Trying to do anything. 38 weeks pregnant is not easy. When you're dealing with like heavy camera equipment, it's that much harder. Perks of being pregnant, Josh is gonna set up actually for the shoot and I, I'm just gonna be lounging right here. Is that a perk of being pregnant or does this happen anyway? It happens. <laughs> <laughs>
all done. <laughs> Clearly not in the mode to have my picture taken anymore. I'm like too big, too sweaty, too awkward. High five. That's how we feel. Okay, I'm having a lot of low back pain right now. Josh keeps asking me if I'm in labor. I don't think I'm in labor, but whatever's happening hurts a lot. It's just like really bad pain in here. And really bad pain in my lower back, but it doesn't feel like that cramping contraction in my stomach that I had last time when I was in labor. Can you show me how in labor? Come here, bud. I can't pick you up. Let's all do the breathing. Come on, come there, yeah, Millie. Bro. Come, come do the breathing. <sighs> Moral support for Mummy, okay? Let's get you a bath going, yeah? Yeah. It's a team effort over here. <laughs> hey, I don't this one. Like what? I don't think Daddy's gonna fit into the baby swaddle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, he'll fit a foot in there. Oh. Hello, baby. Hello. Hello, little baby. Hello. Bath time? For you, yeah, I've got stuff to do with you having a baby. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Bonjour, how are we? I'm here with you right now for a monumental moment. And it's a monumental moment that was probably a little more monumental the first time I had to do it, because it's like a massive responsibility. Could actually be the biggest first responsibility as a daddy-o, as Bowie would say, and Sinead would say, other than, you know, becoming a dad, sexually. This was nothing to do with that, and obviously, let's not go into details with that. Uh, anyway, so you're, my first real responsibility as a dad, and as, for most dads, their first real job is putting the car seat in. So I've obviously done that a million times, but we got a new one for our boy. It's a new version of our old one, um, because we really like this company. They've been great, kept both safe the whole way through, um, super comfy, she fell asleep in an easy, and they're really, really, really fucking light. So anyway, it's the Pippa Light by Nuna, and this is a collab with our mates at Pottery Bon. So this thing is so light, I reckon I could probably lift it up with my baby finger. That worked. Wee baby, we love you. To sleep. So the big part of this job, because that just sort of snaps on, is the base. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, is chuck that in the car. When I say chuck, obviously I don't mean chuck it in the car. I will be very gentle with it. This thing is a life saving device for my babies. I'm going to install it correctly following the instructions. And then, because we've already had one before, we kept the base from the last one. I've stored it all this time and I'm gonna put it, no chucking, in my truck. Will you be sticking around to watch this? Are you watching this right now thinking, fucking hell, I don't wanna watch this English dude trying to put a baby seat in? Well, you haven't really got much choice, let's do it. So, the first call of duty is actually to move Bowie's toddler car seat to the other side. This one is in here. Switch from the original spot onto the actual drum. It's wrong. These little things that I just whacked in a nice little touch because they make it, if you're taking this in and out, which you might do, this is just going to make it really easy to find um, the little anchor hole clicking the jiggity thing. And we're in business here pretty much, so I've just got to whack those around. Legs down, we 
good. Guys, I've told a porky. I weren't done as it goes. Um, I went back and had a quick look in the book because I was like, that felt way too easy and it's not really made it any more difficult. But what I forgot to do before was drop this bit down. Car seat does slant a little bit here. So that just needed to pop up. And then these will go back in here. One, two, back to green, back to the leg. So you see now that's sitting there flat, whereas before it would have been tilting down a little bit. So I'm not sure how much difference that makes, but it says to do it in the book. So I've done it. We are good. Hey, there it is. Easy. Whoa. Two car seats is a different vibe, isn't it? There's a Bowie. Baby dude. I'm done. Both cars, well the car and the truck are done. Oh, you want to see what we did to the car? Oh, wow. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Is that cool? Now you sit right with daddy. I got a car. That yes. one's going to be for What do you think? Is it cool? Yeah. Oh, isn't that so exciting? And now there's going to be two of you, so you can sit, and then your brother it's can sit there and talk to you. It's a full house, that's for sure. It feels good. So last night, we gave my mom a call. <laughs> she had been able to schedule a flight for this coming Sunday, which was still gonna be five days before my scheduled surgery, but after everything that my body has been feeling and everything that's been happening with my body, I'm starting to feel like this could happen sooner. She spent literally 10 hours on hold with WestJet and then just decided to go ahead and book a brand new ticket. With this Delta variant and all the other variants that are popping up all over the place, that could obviously be taken away any minute. So, yeah. you know, we can't do what's happened with my mum, with your mum. You no. know, like we, we can't risk that happening. No, exactly. So, we got to get her in here now and hang out with Lydia for a bit. So, so no, Nina's but, coming back. She's coming back. <laughs> Tomorrow. Her boss has been amazing and given her the extra yeah. time. Um, so the good news is Lydia will be here for that sort of first week after little man, little dude is here. Yes. Um, and then her plan is to hopefully tap out, leave us for the first time as, with two babies while we're both off work because we're yeah. taking some time off other than Sinead, um is going to continue to give you guys some content. And then, then yeah. hopefully my mum gets in somehow, whether that's quarantining somewhere for a couple of weeks or getting a flight here. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the, the plan as it stands. Anything can happen right Anything now. can happen. Josh said to me this morning, he's like, you just got to keep your legs closed for one more day. <laughs> so, oh, no. hang in there, little dude. And, and all then... the mamas, mummies, mumbos who are watching this, who are pregnant right now, or have recently had a baby during the pandemic, respect. And yeah. mummies, mamas, mamas, mamos, whatever you <laughs> want to call yourself, um, I have the utmost respect for you anyway. Like who I do not forget who runs the world ever. I have the utmost respect for women and especially um, mothers and single mothers. But during a pandemic, this ain't easy because you have you can't plan anything. And I know nothing can you know nothing. Not everything's always going to go to plan anyway. Yeah. But in this situation, there's all these other elements that aren't necessarily going to go to plan. So yeah. respect, congratulations, good luck. You got this. She's got, got this, this, but you've got this too. I've seen in the last few days of just me posting some pregnancy stuff that I don't normally post, share much, that much of that kind of thing. Those of you who follow me know that. Um, I've just seen like how amazing like Sinead's community is of having each other's backs too. So keep up with that because I think it's made a huge difference for you. And I think it could make a huge difference for someone watching this video. So yes. keep looking out for each other. Congratulations. And we love you. <laughs> So we are getting ready for, yeah? There's a birdie. There's a birdie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was just working out and I thought, oh, that's a weird looking leaf. It looks like a bird. It's not a leaf, it is actually a bird. Look, come look, guys. Oh my God, that's a bird. It does look like a leaf. It's a hummingbird. I know. Right? 
Yeah. You might just be hot. Go say hi to him. Poor hummingbird. I think I think it's got like a really thick spider web attached to its wing because it's really sticky. It's not coming off. So we're gonna have to call, I don't know, a vet or something to come and help him. While he does that, I'm gonna get ready because it's a big day. My mom's coming into town and I've got my last OBGYN appointment. This is my C-section surgery prep appointment, which I am full disclosure terrified about. I'm hoping that this appointment maybe eases my mind a little bit. So we're in the car, heading for your, is it the final one? This is it. Final checkup on little lad. I'm very scared. Are you? Yeah, I have a lot of fear around this surgery, but I'm hoping that talking you got to the doctor this, Papa. will you got this. ease my nerves, maybe. It will. Or make them worse. <laughs> I don't know. I've said it before, but thank you, ladies, for what you do. Because this... Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll update you once we're out. Just left the doctor. Last appointment. I am already starting to dilate and I'm very effaced. Means baby's coming, basically. <laughs> Do I think we're gonna last another, what is it, eight days or something? Yeah, eight days. Another eight days? I don't know. Do you? I feel like this happened in Bo. And that's why we were convinced that she was gonna come on time and she was late. Yeah. Today, I don't feel like he's coming early, but for the last 48 hours, I was certain he would. But you know what else happened while we were at the doctor? Nonina landed. Nina, good morning, no baby. Yes, and she brought Bowie a baby. So we're all excited for that. Yes. We will see you and Nonina back at the house. Let's do it. literally been here for about 90 seconds. <laughs> She's already exhausted. Already exhausted on babysitting to me. Update from the doctor's appointment. So I had told her that I've been having these pains and she was like, but not contractions. I'm like, no, it's nothing like contractions. It's just sharp, you know, shooting nerve pain. And she's like, yeah, that's totally normal. Then she checked me. I'm one to two centimeters dilated and super effaced. So like my cervix is really short. So she's like, um, are you completely op opposed to like trying for a VBAC? And I was like, no, I mean, I don't want to have C-section. So Josh and I basically in there, we're like, okay, let's keep the C-section that's scheduled for next Friday. If I go into labor in the next eight days, then maybe we try for a VBAC. And she was like, and you can always pull the trigger on a C-section. Like if you start having a panic attack that something's gonna go wrong again or anything like that, like don't worry, you can just get into a C-section at any time. The biggest risk is the scar bursting open and having a uterine rupture, which is like very, very high risk, life-threatening thing for everybody involved. So that's the biggest risk. That said, I could be a good candidate for a VBAC because I've only had one C-section before. 
all of this kind of stuff. Like I'm, I've never had any other uterine complications or uterine surgeries or like anything wrong with that area of my body or anything like that. So I just messaged Dr. Ross, my LA doctor, to get her opinion. She checked in on me this morning just because she's the best. So I'll have her like text me or call me back and then just tell me what she would do. But things are happening. It's exciting, isn't it? Things are happening. It's exciting. It's exciting. Things are happening. So Bowie's refusing to nap because she's very excited that Nonina's here, but Nonina's here, so she gets to look after Bowie while she's not napping, mm -hmm. which is a pretty sweet deal. I'm feeling just at ease in general, knowing that somebody is here, family is here to look after Bo. Obviously, we're still devastated that Josh's mom can't be here, but um, hopeful that the rules are gonna change soon. They have to be, don't they? Yeah, and it's looking that way. From We're just checking the news every day. So um, fingers crossed Granny Bob's gets here soon, but at least Bo is in good hands, safe hands with family. Well, we are bringing baby boy into the world. That's right. It's gonna happen any day now. Could probably, I mean, next video is kind of, it's the day, like it's time. Whether he decides to come on his own or I'm going in for surgery or whatever, it's all kind of, happening next week so make sure you're subscribed <laughs> if you don't want to miss that the next chapter of our lives kind of begins mm -hmm. next sunday see That's you then <laughs> see you later stay safe